Double Standards, Amnesty International's latest report under scrutiny. Hello and welcome. I am Afumia Yelio and this is News Analytica. Amnesty International, the London-based human rights organization, has just published a report that sheds light on the state of human rights across more than 150 countries. The report highlights a persistent deterioration of respect for human rights and warns against double standards that have been exasperated by the COVID-19 pandemic and the ongoing Ukraine war. But the report doesn't just expose double standards in the world. It also exposes the double standards exercised by the organization itself. In our news analysis today, we will delve deeper into the issue of double standards and the condemnation of human rights and the role that the organization, like Amnesty International, play in defending human rights. Stay with us. Amnesty's latest report warned against what it called the persistent deterioration of respect for human rights, blaming the COVID-19 pandemic and the Ukraine war for exasperating double standards. However, this statement is ironic, as double standards have existed since the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948. Agnes Kalamort, Amnesty's Secretary General, highlighted the issue in an interview with Al Jazeera. She said, In 2022, we had the fantastic example of how the world came to support and show solidarity with the Ukrainian people. But we did not have a similar kind of support and solidarity for the Palestinian people the people of Ethiopia, Myanmar, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. It seems that the global north has only now begun to point out the double standards that have always existed, particularly since war has returned to Europe and the Western world. There was no condemnation when NATO and its allies illegally invaded Iraq and bombed Libya, and there is still no condemnation for the legal occupation of Syria by US forces or Saudi's war on Yemen. Kalamard also noted that the occupation of Palestinians was a particularly important example of double standards regarding human rights. Without making any comparison between Russia's aggression and Israel, it is clear the Palestinian people are under a regime of oppression, a regime of occupation and a regime of apartheid, she said. The ongoing crackdown on protesters in France has also not been condemned by the same nations and organizations that condemned the Iran protests. It has now become too common to see that the rights advocacy is a tool for powerful Western nations to impose illegal unilateral sanctions, launch invasions, and loot the resources of smaller nations since the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Amnesty International's Statement For more than a decade, human rights organizations have warned that a persistent deterioration of respect for human rights and the rule of law was underway as a direct insult to the people of Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, and Africa that have suffered for much longer under the weight of such double standards. While the report acknowledged the issue of double standards on human rights, it riddled with its own shortcomings of integrity. For instance, it fails to openly criticize the US for its militarized foreign policy that has resulted in the death of millions across the globe. It has also turned a blind eye to the disproportionate representation of African Americans and Latinos in the U.S. prison system. The U.S. has a shocking 25% of the global prison population, despite the fact that the entire population of the U.S. is just 4% of the global population. These numbers are alarming, with over 70% of all U.S. prisoners made up of these two groups. On the contrary, the report highlights the ongoing crisis in Ethiopia and condemns the arbitrary detention of thousands of Tigrayans in dire conditions. While the attention given to the plight of Ethiopians should be appreciated, it also raises questions why Amnesty chooses to remain silent to documented concerns of human rights violations committed by Western governments. To gain the attention and trust of the Global South, it is crucial for human rights organizations like Amnesty International to remain impartial and be consistent in their condemnation of human rights violations, regardless of the countries or actors involved. Without this impartiality, their condemnations and motives will continue to be questioned. This will not only erode the credibility of these organizations, but serves to prolong the suffering of people who are victims of human rights violations. 
it is imperative that human rights organizations remain openly committed to upholding their values and principles without being swayed by political and national interests. This was our news analysis for today, and thank you very much for watching. Make sure you join us on the next one.